Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about the quick fill list and in contact and the appointment queue. So I know we've had, obviously, a lot of patients that we've canceled um, and we are needing to reschedule them. I know some people or some offices have left the appointments on the schedule which is fine um, and some others have removed those appointments from the schedule and placed them into the quick fill list which is great too so i just want to talk about how we can get into that quick fill list filter our appointments um, place them into in contact and or the appointment queue for ease of scheduling and for um, um, documentation on our conversations with our patients and keeping up with that communication. So first we'll just talk about the in contact, or excuse me, quick fill list here. So I know most of our schedules probably look like this right now, but pretty soon we're going to have to, um, if we haven't already, start scheduling, rescheduling patients. So for those of you that put your patients into your quick fill list, it's going to show you here the date that you actually place them in there. I think we already know it's going to have the appointment type, so it keeps that appointment intact there. Um, if you placed a note, so this is a demo database, by the way, I think you all know that. So none of these are real patients. Um, so I went ahead and I took, I took a day and canceled everybody. And my note that I placed in was for, um, you know, due to COVID-19. So this is the reason. We have one straggler in here, but this is the reason all of these were um, removed from my appointment book here. So we can see that. A lot of offices are kind of wanting to jumpstart their production and get their high production appointments in um, priority. So when you look on this quick fill list here, over to the right, you can see the amount. And, and the amount's just kind of staggered here, but if we go ahead and click this twice, it'll bring the highest production appointment to the top and then go down from there. So we can kind of focus on getting these high production appointments back in the schedule as soon as possible. If we click the plus sign, it tells you the name of the provider and the start time and the end time, which can be helpful if you're looking at a hygiene appointment. Um, so you can see which providers are in that appointment and what time the doctor is supposed to be within that appointment as well. So I, I like to use this quick fill list. Um, having these notes is helpful. You can also check this box here, add note to account. So this note will not only show up in this quick fill list, but it will show up in the actual account as well. So you'll see why this patient had to be um, removed from the schedule that day. Uh, down here on the bottom, it's showing whichever patient you're highlighted on, their tally of failed, canceled, or neither appointments. We can also do a search criteria filter. So if you just wanna search for sooner if possible patients, so that sooner if possible is check marked in the edit patient screen in the preferences. So I'll go ahead and show you that real quick for those that don't know. Um, if we do edit patient, I'll just go to my last person here, Jake Allen. a little slow here today. So in this edit patient screen, if we come over here to preferences, we can go down here. It'll tell us 
if the patient has a particular time preference, they like to come in. And if they are a patient who can come in on short notice. So whether or not they have an appointment scheduled out, you know, two or three weeks from now, somebody calls and cancels their crown appointment for tomorrow morning. This is somebody we could filter this report for and call, and there's a good chance he'd be able to come in and fill that last minute opening we got. So we'll go back to the quick fill list. Back up to the search criteria. Again, you can filter. Um, there's all providers. You can filter for specific providers, specific chairs or specific appointment types. If you just wanna see all your profi appointments, we can do that. So maybe if the hygienist is going to come in here and do some calls, she can filter that um, just so she doesn't have to search through all those other um, appointments and names. And then you can also put dates in as well. So if you just wanna do it you know, week by week, Day by day, your list at this point might be quite long. Most likely it is. So you can go ahead and condense that and just kind of work day by day, week by week, however you want to do that. And again, this is where you can filter this list for patients on short notice. Um, this was as sooner if possible, sorry. This is your patients on short notice. So that's in the edit patient screen. This sooner if possible is actually in the appointment screen. Um, so if we go to an appointment here and I double click, there's this checkbox up here as well. So if you have scheduled Brenda for a crown and she wanted something sooner, but you have no openings, um, she says, call me if something sooner happens or opens up, you can check that and she'll show up on that report. So that's where the sooner if possible um, icon or checkbox is. So that's how you're gonna go ahead and, and filter through your quick fill list. Once you have your filters, you'll just hit apply at the bottom. So another thing I wanna talk about is the in contact. Um, in contact, it's an interactive contact manager that makes keeping track of your patients an easier task. So it enables you to store a single patient or groups of patients who need to be contacted. So you can send your, your recalls, um, post-op call reports, and many different other reports to in contact. Um, so, you know, it, it's kind of a great tool and I'll send a couple of these patients over to in contact here uh, just to kind of show you what that looks like. But first, let me show you where in contact lives. So it's on your home screen here. And if you go over to activities, it's the third one down. You can also put this icon on your toolbar if you'd like. Um, to customize a toolbar, oops, didn't mean to click that. To customize a toolbar, you simply just right click anywhere on that toolbar, click customize. Over here, it says available toolbar functions, current toolbar func buttons. Why am I saying functions? <laughs> buttons. Um, so these are going to show you what's already up on your toolbar. So if there's something over here that you'd like to see, you would just simply select it and then hit add. Now it automatically wants to put it all the way over to the right, but if you want it somewhere else positioned, just highlight it here and you can click this move up or move down and that'll move that icon for you. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that off, but that's how you go ahead and customize your toolbar and that is workstation specific. So not everyone has the same looking toolbar. Um, so when I go back here to my quick fill list, 
And if I want to put Angela into in contact, I can just come down here and hit add to in contact. It says it has been added. So I'm going to close out of here. I'll go back to my front office screen. Click my in contact and there she is. So this is kind of a great way to keep track of and add notes um, in regards to the conversations you have with your patient about rescheduling that appointment. We can see it's from the quick fill here. Now it doesn't remove her from the uh, quick fill list. It just places her in the in contact um, in addition. And what I like about in contact is this note feature here. So it shows us the note that we placed in the quick fill. But as we continue um, to call her and communicate with her, um, we can add additional notes. Um, you know, if for some reason we get a hold of her and she wants to reschedule, but she's out of town or, or work is really busy right now because she was off for so long, but she wants us to call her, her um, maybe the middle of the month. So we can place a note, call her, you know, May 15th. patient. And then I like to put my initial there. Uh, create account note. So this will put that note into her account as well. Um, we can also, if we had more than one person in here, which, which I'll put some in here, but depending on who is selected, it just has a quick summary of their account information. So we see their phone number. Um, birth date, last visit, any appointments that are scheduled, when they are due for their next recall. And then you have um, account balance summary here as well, which is kind of nice to see. This information over here is just a summary of all patients in, in contact and where they were placed in there from. So we can see we have one patient in from the quick fill list. Now, if we call Angela up and we want to get her rescheduled, but we're concerned about this 90 day balance here, and maybe she asks us what that's for, we can right click and we can go right into her account from there. And then we can get really detailed with her on what those balances, what the balance is for. Once we click out of there, it takes us right back in. Um, we can also schedule her straight from here as well. So if we're clicked on her and she says, yeah, I want to get scheduled, we can click this D that stay at a glance. It takes us right to the schedule. If we double click. Do last patient. It says she's in the quick fill list. Do you wish to review this information? Well, yes, I do. I don't want to look at her planned services right now because I'm focusing on her appointment that's already been created. So it shows us here her appointments in the quick fill list. So this is the one I'm looking for here. I'll actually put this in because I'm going to put her in doctor's schedule. And we'll hit save. And she has an alert for a prescription, but I'm not going to prescribe that. She doesn't need it. So that'll put her right in that um, in that schedule. So at this point, we can come over here to status and click scheduled. Um, so that's a nice way to use that um, in contact list. I think I said quick fill in contact. Sorry, guys, jumbling my words up here. Um, if we want to take a look back, let's just say we did not cancel our days um, and we left them in the schedule. Okay, we didn't put anybody into quick fill. We just thought it might be easier this way. Um, and that's fine. I'm going to close that. 
What we can do if we're calling these patients to get them rescheduled, we can use our appointment queue here. Um, so if we just click on this appointment queue, it brings it over to the side. Now, if we use this push pin and make sure it's pushed down, when we hover away, that queue remains. If the push pin is sideways, when we hover away, it goes and it hides out over here. So once we're hovering on it, it opens back up. But for this sake, I'm gonna go ahead and just pin it down for now. I'm going to remove these just to get this cleaned up for us. I just right clicked there. Um, let's say we call Jake and we wanna get him rescheduled. We got him on the phone, we're gonna reschedule him. So I'm gonna right click well, I don't even have to right click guys. You can just drag it right over here. You left click, hold the left click down, drag it right under unscheduled appointments there. Or under move, sorry, we can do either one, but I would do it under move. And once it's under move, we can go to the day and time we wanna schedule him. Let me get my calendar up here. I'm gonna pin my calendar. And let's say I'm gonna schedule him for June 1st. I'll go ahead and grab him from my move and place him in the schedule. Let's go back to April 13th. And for Betsy, we'll say we get a hold of Betsy. And she wants to get scheduled as well. But she doesn't know exactly when she can get scheduled at this point. So we can do a couple different things. We can either put her in the queue under move, or we can place her in the quick fill list. So either or. So if we right click, hit delete this appointment click neither we could write covid reschedule add note to account and hit okay it's just saying there are services assigned to this appointment that are still present in the treatment plan do you want to delete them no i don't want to delete those services nope so now when we go up and take a look at the quick fill Betsy is in our quick fill. Here she is. Okay. And she was scheduled for the 13th. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. Another way we could do it if we get a hold of Gary, we'll go ahead and double click on his appointment. And he um, he wants to get scheduled. Um, he's going to call us back later today. He thinks he's going to take that opening we offered him um, on June 1st, but he's not sure. So we're just going to, from here, we can send him to the queue. And so what that did was it took him over and scheduled him under our unscheduled appointments. Okay. So that's another way you can do it. Still be if you go into the quick fill list here and you want to do um, search for unscheduled appointments. Say your unscheduled appointment list over here is, you know, long. I know some of those under the queue, some of these get out of control and you don't want to use it because of that fact. Well, you can come over here and you can filter it. So you can filter it for that specific date or that specific week. If you're, like I said, if you're doing this week by week and then he shows up there. So you get a nice view of, you know, when he was scheduled, what he was scheduled for. And then again, you can, you can place another note here if you'd like. 
So I know I've gone into offices and I've seen this unscheduled appointment list just out of control and, you know, from last year. So if that's the case and you haven't cleaned it up yet, um, you can certainly do go in that quick fill and filter it. And some quick fills are out of control too. I've gone into offices and seen quick fills out of control. Same thing, you know, just, just go ahead and filter it for the dates um, and then you'll get, you'll get your information there. But again, don't forget you can click here and you can get your highest production to lowest. And I think a lot of offices, like I said, are really gonna try to get these big cases in first, just so they can kind of make up for lost time a little bit here. Um, so I'll go ahead and slide him over. And so just in summary, we talked about um, the quick fill. We talked about using in contact from the quick fill. They're very similar. The difference is in in contact, you're going to get more information um, just about that patient, a summary. So if you are on the phone with, with Jack, um, you know, you can see his account. You can right click and go right to his account as well. So that's what's nice about in contact. Um, and we also talked about how you can use the appointment queue and filtering um, for your dates or for your range of dates to try to get your patients back into the schedule. So I hope this was a little bit helpful. Hopefully I helped someone out there. Um, good luck getting everyone back in and um, not going crazy. And I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Thank you.